I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Rebecca Egger. She is co-founder and CEO at Little Otter and Lindsay Jerst Rosner. She is CEO at Wealthy. Ladies, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. So you were both just on the podium, rang the closing bell with yes. Springbank Collective. So tell me, what does Springbank Collective's caregiving ecosystem mean to you and your business? And tell me what it was like to be on that podium. Ever since I met Springbank, it was so amazing to meet a group of women who understand how large this care economy is and the opportunity that's available. And so standing up there on the podium, being recognized for this work, being surrounded by other founders who are doing such valuable work and the fact that people are recognizing it, it's really, really incredible. And there is a huge opportunity here and there's a lot of people who are going after it. Yeah, it's a massive economy. You know, the care economy is valued at six trillion dollars. And so, you know, you would kind of think, why aren't there more spring banks out there trying to solve and identify an innovative solution? So, so meaningful to be here. They've been such close and wonderful partners to us throughout our journey. And just the community of other founders doing meaningful work is really is really important and profound. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll come back here in a couple of years to when we when we IPO is the goal. Right. Definitely, this is the this is going to be the first time of, of many, maybe. Yes. I love it. I love it. We're planning for the future. That's great. And great job with the bell ringing, by the way. Thank like you. Like the way you struck that gavel too. Thank you. Um, so, Rebecca, tell me, how does mental health support for children and families fit into the broader caregiving economy? Yeah. So we know that child mental health and parent or caregiver mental health are very very linked. We know if a child is suffering, usually a parent is also suffering. So Little Otter really takes the whole family approach to look at the mental health of the child, but also the mental health of the caregivers to try to figure out how do we reduce impact on the entire family? And that's what it means to impact the caregiver economy is that we can't just focus on the child. We know that parents and caregivers are suffering right now. We were already in a child and caregiver mental health crisis and it's only gotten worse over the past three years. All right, so Lindsay, what should people know about the care gap and how does it impact our broader economy? So the problem that we're seeing right now, first of all, there was a care gap before COVID and it has only gotten worse after COVID. So the issue is that the, the sheer number of paid caregivers that we need to support our loved ones, our kids, our aging parents and, and family members, there aren't enough paid caregivers. There aren't, aren't enough people going into homes, working in long-term care facilities or daycare facilities. The result is that unpaid caregivers, family caregivers, people who look like us, have to step out of their jobs to take on these really critical roles. And so that's lost labor, that's lost institutional knowledge within companies. And we're seeing the impact with labor shortages across many industries right now. Okay, so Rebecca, how can technology solutions help fill the gap of mental health support that children and families need right now? Technology is necessary to have an impact in this problem and in this space. So 70% of counties in the United States have zero child psychiatrists, if you can believe it, which means that we're not going to solve this crisis by just hiring or building brick and mortar you know, doctor's offices. We need to think of a new solution. And Little Otter was founded by me, who has a background in product tech. Um, and I founded actually with my mom, Dr. Helen Egger, who's a very famous child psychiatrist. And it's really bringing our expertise together, the clinical and the technical. And what's so important about our solution is that we meet families where they are. So as Lindsay's talking about, you know, having caregivers who are not able to go to work that are struggling, we are able to meet a family at 11 p.m. when they're worried about their child's tantrums, and we can give them answers right away. Okay, and finally, Lindsay, how can technology support caregivers, and how do those solutions fit into the broader ecosystem of caregiving? Yeah, well, I'm always struck, you know, we're all sort of doing our own caregiving personally and kind of in quiet within our homes, and there's just, you know, an, an opportunity to be able to leverage technology to bring to bear, you know, solutions that other people have benefited from. At Wealthy, we use experts, uh, care coordinators who partner with families, and then they're using solutions that they've identified across the country and bring those to bear for families for their specific needs. So it's very important to our model. The human support is key, and then technology is really how we support individuals consistently and with high quality and at scale. All right, well, thank you both for joining me, and please keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for joining me on Floor Talk. So nice thank to meet you. you.